Hi, Mark here from the Tangibound Podcast Network and host of the flagship show, The Tangibound Podcast. Did you know that we over at Tangibound are always looking for amazing podcasts to promote? And did you also know that we are also proud nerds and geeks of everything from movies, music, gaming, TV shows, and comic books to wrestling, MMA, soccer, and football? Whatever you can nerd or geek out about, we've got it. And if you're interested, we can help you find it. And if you're a show looking for a place to call home, we've got you covered. Side effects may include upset stomach, dizziness, tumors, shakes, and in some rare cases, death from excessive laughter. Though to be fair, it's only sometimes. Other side effects may include diarrhea, gallstones, heart palpitations, and strong desire for cookies on the dark side. Talk to your doctor and visit TangiboundNetwork.com and see if Tangibound Network is right for you. This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network. Welcome to the podcast from Temperance Town. The sexiest podcast of world renowned. Tony grows a beard to hide his chin, swabs it with Earl, so it glistens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Download the pod, you won't get enough of these dapper chaps talking deadly fluff. In Hobo Gulch, they run a homeless mission, clanging and banging with the pentagram of kittens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. They enjoy their whiskey and local craft beer. By Odin's on Campubis, we give a cheer. Tony's a raccoon when he's booziest. Don't be a savage, be an enthusiast. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. On the frozen tundra, they call it a lock. Tony likes to masturbate in a sock. Brian pisses rocks cause it feels so great I still don't know who the fuck is Tate Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier The boys will let you know when there's a Due to male pattern baldness They don't wear curlers Stay salty people, that's their closing line And don't forget Have a beer, you'll be fine Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier Salty Hey, enthusiasts, what's happening? This is Salty Language, episode 368. The sexiest podcast on the network, Brian. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You are correct, sir. Yes. We're back. Feels like it's been a long time since we recorded. Um, Yeah, it kind of does. I think, didn't we record way early last episode, and now we're recording yeah. a little later than yeah. normal? Yeah, I actually think, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I think that's what's uh, faking us up there, dude. <laughs> Could be. Could be. You know, speaking of when you did that accent, it reminded me of, you know, Bill Burr when he does it. And I just recently started following him on Instagram. And <laughs> I love right. how when he, like, he was in Youngstown, Ohio, uh, a couple weeks ago. And I just love how he was like great view and it's just the shittiest view. <laughs> it's just like the side of a building in a tree. Basically it's nothing, you know, um, <laughs> I just love that. It's, you know, it's not like the skyline or something, you know, with a nice sunset behind it. It's just <laughs> shit. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. Just, <laughs> uh, that's so great. Good old Billy Burr. Yeah. <clears throat> Good fun. Good. Right. Fun. Mm-hmm. As are most Ooh. of the follows with him, he's pretty good. I'm uh, I'm amazed how every time we start recording, yeah, it's like someone just starts pumping sleeping gas in his room. Oh well, 
Tony, the reason for that. No. <laughs> yeah, but it's like my, my my little studio here is like a saw room. Right. Jesus. Actually, Tony, these podcasts are actually not published in any way. This is, um, I'm just poisoning you. Oh, this yeah. is like Michael Douglas in the game. Right. I was going to use a different Shit. reference, but I didn't want to do a Spurlers, so. Mm, Spurlers. Yeah. I spurled it. <laughs> I was like, it's a Westworld thing. Get nice. It? Okay. Figured you'd pick up, so. Yeah. That way, there are no spurlers for anybody. Nope, nope, nope. Unless nope. you're really good. Yeah. So, yeah. Really good. <laughs> really good, yeah. Oof. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I slept like hot shit yesterday, though. So that probably doesn't help. Same. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it was one of those things. We went to bed, and Gene's like, oh, Hey, honey, don't you want to bring the fan in here? And I'm like, eh, I'm already laying down. Mm-hmm. About one thirty in the morning, I woke up just fucking gross. <laughs> it's so hot. Then anyway, we right. have the air on, but, you know, if the air's not moving. Yep, I'm the same way, yeah. Yeah, yep. so I was like, oh, God. And then I just took <laughs> me forever to fall back asleep and it was right. one of those things. <laughs> Naturally, you went outside, just hose yourself down with the cold water. and Oh, man, it was brutal. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't help that it was a, you know... We had a housewarming party that day, and you know I had I had a couple pops in me and mm-hmm. before we went home, and then Finn had another one at home, and so I woke up feeling a little like meh, nah, and you know it's yeah. a whole situation, Brian. Yeah, understand. Now it's now it's catching up to me. That's all right. You'll be fine. Because I'm an old man. Yeah. True. 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 Yeah. We all are. I know, right? Yep. It's just you just finally caught up to like your body just finally caught up to your brain. Yeah, maybe. You know, because you know. you, you've been mentally an old man for years. You know, that's true. I've always been a curmudgeon, right? So it's just things are finally starting to even out. You know, right? It's like one you know of these days happened? I'll be super, super bloated, and I'll finally grow into my head. You know, <laughs> 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 yeah, that's fair. Yeah, we can all accept this. Yeah, I'm sure mm-hmm. everyone understands. Everyone understands. Mm-hmm. So, uh, previously on Salty Language, Tony was, uh, describing how he was one day away from being a free man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, to quote my wife, he doesn't know how to relax. Yeah, that seems accurate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, I, uh, like I, <laughs> my last day of work, my last week of work, rather, I, I was, I would be driving around just like daydreaming, like, you know what? Next week, I'm going to just grab the laptop, throw my backpack, go to a coffee shop. Right. I'll write some stuff. I'll drink some coffee. And I'll take a day and I'll just take the dogs at a park and we'll do fun stuff. And, uh, dude, I haven't done shit <laughs> besides, like, run around and get, just handle stuff at the house. Mm. <laughs> and then, lo and behold, uh, you know, fresh job starting tomorrow. <laughs> right. Well, you know, at least you took a week. You know, I took a week. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm only. I told him I'm only working part time. Right. Yeah. And I'm sure but we'll see how long that lasts. I'm sure that week was probably still nice to have off, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess yeah. it was. It was still kind of, you know, it's still kind of stressful. I mean, because yeah. you know, they were our bathrooms done, but there was contractors still in our house until like Wednesday or Thursday or something. Yeah. They squatting. You couldn't throw them out or I, I, <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know, it is. <laughs> They're like, if we fits, we sit. <laughs> yeah, basically. Right. Yeah. So it's just, you know, and it's just me like emailing my old boss be like, Hey man, I need no, you know, paperwork that says I'm not on insurance anymore. So I get my wife's insurance and Hey man, how about the, all this PTO I still have, which you're going to pay me for, which is nice. But that, Well, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's just, yeah, it's just a whole week of just stuff. Yeah. That, you know, it had zero to do with my daydreaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, but, it, but it is weird because now, you know, uh, the, my last Friday at work, we went to a uh, local brewery. You know, had some beers, met with some actually ex-coworkers of mine who moved on from where I used to work now. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, you know, had a little like see ya that place party. But there's a banner hanging out that they're hiring, and I'm like, you know, maybe, maybe I'll think about it, maybe. Yeah, and I think it was about Wednesday. Well, maybe. you you have been dream dreaming about being a, a dancing cage girl for years. I know. I've been working on my moves and everything. Right. <laughs> you know? I got all the outfits. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the question is, are you are you are you you know are you going to shave the body hair or just go au naturel? Oh, are you kidding me? Au naturel. <laughs> right. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> no. Those chains are high tensile steel. <laughs> It'll hold him. <laughs> it was like calm. No flash photography. <laughs> You're making him angry. <laughs> Quick, someone get him a beer. <laughs> but yeah, so I saw that banner, and I think it was probably Wednesday. I was like, ah, fuck it. And I pulled up their website. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I have always wanted to work at a brewery. Mm-hmm. You know, get my foot and door in the beer world, and I'm like, even if it's part time, I'll get some experience for when we head north, and there's a shit ton of breweries up there. True, yeah. Then I could be like, hey, I've worked at one. Right. You need me. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you see that line of seven thousand people? We we don't. <laughs> yeah, basically, right? <laughs> yeah. But it's weird though, because like I, you know, the I put my application, which is all online, which is nice. Yeah. You know, and I was like, yeah, whatever. And later that day, I get a phone call, and it was the dude, the manager. Hey, I just you know, left because I didn't answer it because I'm like, who the fuck is this? Yeah, I don't. If I don't know you, I don't answer. <laughs> right. Plus, you know, you got to play up the being important part. You know, like you're too uh, yeah. busy to answer the phone. Yeah, you know, right? Exactly. Yeah, well, exactly. Like, first ring it like he's my high yeah. school crush. Yeah, I was gonna say like you're sitting around waiting for him. Yeah, hair up in that. pigtails, kicking your feet back and forth on the bed. I know butterflies all fluttering everywhere <laughs> in my guts. <laughs> Exactly. Writing your name in his last name. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Right next to the Van Halen logo. Right. Well, of course. I mean, fuck yeah. Yeah. I scratched out Eddie, put his. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, but, uh, but so he calls me and he's like, hey, man, just call about your application. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, ah, well, you know, when, when can you, uh, when you can come in for an interview? And I was like, whenever you mm-hmm. tell me, you know, right? I'm an open book, man. <laughs> You're like, let's see. Um, you tell me when to come to a brewery. Uh, <laughs> yeah, basically, right? I'll figure it out. So he's like, oh, well, how about tomorrow, three o'clock? Like, All right, I'll be there. Yeah, you know, show up. We're talking, guys. Like, so my first question is, do you have any restaurant experience? I went, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> then I'm immediately like, ah, fuck. And it's funny because he didn't even have my application. Like, he's like, I want him to print it out. I can't find it. What's your name again? Like, your last name. Wow. I know your first name is Tony. I know your phone number is, you know, I'm not going to say it here. But <laughs> it's all right. I'll give it out to anybody who wants it. Yeah, that's fair. It. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but he had a stack of applications. And he, and he looks at me. He's like, if I'm being honest with you, I would rather hire somebody our age because he's like 44, mm-hmm. you know. I'm almost 40. Right. So he's an age discriminator. Cool. But, yeah. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> which I fuck, you know, fuck the kids. I get it. Yeah. He Cause, he, Cause he's like, you know, yeah. in general, people our age, I can count on. They'll be there on time. They'll be there. Yeah. They're well, less interested in, in their phones. Right. I was, well, it's like, I, I, I've said this before to people that the difference is, you know, like you go to a fast food place and the, the, Managers seem to almost always bust their ass, but the, all the other employees are kind of meh, like hit or miss. And it's yeah. like, I think a lot of it is because the older employees see it as a, a kind of a career, like, a, or a, hey, I have bills to pay. Like, right. I, I have to feed a family, whatever. And a lot of the part timers are just, you know, doing that while they're in college or whatever. And they're like, whatever, I'll get another job. You know, right, right, and I think that has to do a lot to do with it, and because it's the same thing. Yeah, I mean, my experience has been, for the most part, working with older people has been better. Yeah, there's right. usually less drama. There's less, you know, less, uh, you know. Oh, I need Friday and Saturday off because party. You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. So, so dude's like, well, he's like, you know, no restaurant experience, but he's like, but I, you know. Rather hire somebody your age. Mm-hmm. And he's like, well, what are you looking to do? And I told him, I'm like, you know, we were going to move, but the timeline was too crazy, so we're pushing it off for a little bit now. 
And he's like, I'm like, I, you know, I left my last job, I'm not going back. I'm just looking for something from there to there, you know, just some part time work. So I still have time to do stuff at the house, mm-hmm. you know, get a little cash in my pocket, whatever. And he's like, well, I mean, like here, what do you want to do here? I'm like, honestly, 10 bar brew beer. That's what I'm really I was going to say. In. You're like drink. <laughs> yeah. And the guy's like, well, if I'm being honest, we don't hire bartenders off the street. That's I'm fair. Like, I, I'm like, dude, I get yeah, it. Yeah. That's you know? fair. Right. Yeah. And he's like, and he's like, do you have any experience brewing? I'm like, no. <laughs> like, no, but I'm eager and a quick learner. Yeah. I, I'm like, I, that's basically, yeah. It'd yeah. Be like, I'm like, I, I'm very interested in it. I'm a v- big fan of craft beer. Mm-hmm. And he's like, well, you know, if we hire you, we're, we're probably going to start you in the back. Right. Because we really need, like, prep people. That, and, you know. He's I, really, I, he's he's just telling you that he thinks you're ugly. That's all that is. <laughs> exactly. You know, right. it's the old, you know, you have a face for radio is what he's telling you. Yeah. You know. Which, yeah, <laughs> podcasting. There, you know, right. That's why we don't have a video podcast. <laughs> we don't want to break the internet. Man, this guy's rude. Age discrimination telling you you're ugly. Oh, jeez. What a dick. <laughs> But um, you know, and he's like, "Well, what were you making?" I told him. He's like, "Yeah, there's no way we can." No, that right? Yeah. And I'm like, "I don't expect you to." Right. You know? Right. You're like, "I'll take I like do. a dollar less." That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> fine. Yeah. He's like, "Did well, you right, tell well, him he... that he could pay you half in beer?" That that would be fine. Yeah. Like like the old collectors <laughs> rule: yeah. half cash, half credit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So he's like, well, you know, he's like, I've been in the restaurant business for 25 years, I think he said. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I'm being honest with you. The guys that own this place, they're the best people I've ever worked for. Like, he's like, every week they come to and talk to everybody about how they can make their job better. Mm-hmm. And they're just all about everyone having a good time and being happy, which, at, you know, compared to where I was working, it's mm-hmm. like, oh, geez. Yeah. This sounds nice for mm-hmm. a change. Right. People yeah. that care about you, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> But uh, so I was like, he's like, well, let me talk to my bosses and we'll, you know, we'll see what we can do for you pay wise and I'll give you a call tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, all right. Never heard from him. I was like, ah, well, whatever. Yeah. And he calls me the next day. Ah, hey, man, sorry I didn't call you. We got too busy. W- when can you start? And he told me how much we're gonna, he's going to make. I was like, we're going to probably start you in the kitchen mm-hmm. and then give you a few weeks, see how you do, and then we'll go from there and maybe we'll put you up front. I was like, oh. okay. okay. Yeah. Sure. Right. It's, I mean, it's weird <laughs> mm-hmm. because. By up front, do you mean like bartender, or do you like, mean like, like like yeah? He said up front, like you know, I mean, I don't know, I, okay. I don't know. Right, fair like, I, I have no idea. Because I'd say if you end up as a bartender, please, please get those like arm, um, oh, I can't think what they're called now. Like, like the, the old time. Openers? No, no, like the old timey uh, bartenders used to oh, wear. Oh, like uh, it looks like a goddamn uh, suspenders, but on your arm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or I can get like Ultimate Warrior, you know. Tassels. Okay. okay, that actually might be the better yeah. move. Yeah, let's go that way instead. Let's go that way. Yeah, all right, fair enough. But I mean, uh, it's but yeah, it's weird because it's like starting off at the very bottom rung again. Mm-hmm. But now you're here. Well, yeah, exactly, Drake, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I'm I'm trying to wrap my head around that, but it's like, but yeah. you know, I think I'd rather take a pay cut. Yeah. To be happier at work. For sure, yeah. Because I was miserable at my last job. And I do miss a lot of people I worked with, but every day I'd come home just in a shit mood. Yeah. And I don't that's not good for you. Really? Huh. Yeah, I know, right? Huh. Yeah. So, I, you know, so, you know, starting tomorrow, we'll see what happens, and I, I don't know. It's just, it is weird starting at the very bottom again. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like, it, well, my last job, where I was, I kind of felt like I'd put myself in a cul-de-sac. Because mm-hmm. I kept going like, hey, I want to do something else in the company. And I just, they never, because yeah. I, I think it was honestly because I was too good at what I was doing. Yeah, that probably. they didn't want to get me out of there. Because mm-hmm. talking to my coworker, it sounds like it's a real fucking nightmare <laughs> over well, there right now. I mean, you know, not to really run down that rabbit hole, but, you know, you did say they hadn't pulled in a replacement for you yeah. up, as of the day you quit, I believe, right? Yes. Yeah, so that's... And when yeah. I when I <laughs> asked him that Monday night, I texted him like, hey, how'd it go? And he's like, well, he told me in two weeks you're going to hire somebody. <laughs> oh, my God. You gave him almost a month. There's yeah. just really... That's just... Anyway. There's no excuse. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. We'll talk about that. But things. whatever. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I it's, that has been nice not coming home in a shitty mood. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. We'll see how. Yeah. It, although another thing that I, when I was a teenager, I swore. I was like, because, you know, my sister, my dad, my mom, everyone worked in the restaurant industry. Yeah. But come home smelling like food, covered in food. And I'll be like, I am never doing this. Yeah. Never. Right. And I, and I, I, I turned the corner on it, my own little like vow yeah. <laughs> when I was a teen. Yeah. But at the same time, I fucking love cooking and stuff. I was going to say, when we were teenagers, it was, I mean, not that we hated cooking when we were that young, but it was like, it, it isn't the same as it is now. You right. know? Yeah. Yeah. To where you're like, eh, I don't mind prepping and cooking and whatever. So yeah, it's, a, it's a different beast now. So I mean, maybe I'll hate it. You know, maybe if I chop onions for eight and a half hours or whatever, <laughs> like, this is bullshit. Uh, you get in there and they're like, all right, here's a, a teaspoon and a, a mound of potatoes. Get to work. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> who knows? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Yeah. Right. I do know when I went, what, uh, what's the dress code? Guys is like, ah, wear some shorts. You can wear a hat. I don't care what it is. Because and we'll, we'll give you some shirts. Because you know, you're okay. in the back, or is that just general That's dress just code? Anyway, because oh. when I when I interviewed with him, he was wearing I don't remember what hat, and he had a, like camouflage cargo shorts on. Right. Oh my god! What you need is a bunch of trucker hats, like with those stupid sayings on them. Like you buy it like a gas station or a truck stop. Don't you, tempt me. You need a bunch <laughs> of those to just rotate it work. Yes. <laughs> That would be amazing. So I take it they don't have hats then. I don't know. I, I mean, because if so, you'd really think they'd worked. be like, especially if you're up front, be like, if you're going to wear a hat, you have to wear one of our hats. You know. Well, that's what I was. You know, I'm like, I'll, I'll wear my. Uh, I got a Schooner Wharf hat, which is yeah. one of my favorite bars in Key West. Right. Yeah. Probably not a good idea to go with the. What is it? New Holland or whatever. New Holland. Yeah. yeah which I like, is I dig that hat, but probably not appropriate. <laughs> yeah. The, we're we're wearing our breweries yeah. hat. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe yeah, they wouldn't yeah. care. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's weird. Cool. I did not enjoy unemployment, I guess. <laughs> well, you gave it a fair shake. <laughs> <laughs> you dipped your toe. Nope. Yeah. Right back to it. That's and, fine, though. Yeah. I, it, it is cool, though, like you said, it, it, trying to find something that you might be happier in, and you're not running into a full-time you know, we're with the intention of full time, whatever, because, you know, wh- however things work out, they work out. But, you know, that's... I mean, he, he did tell me, he's like, we can give you 40 hours if you want it. Yeah. And that's... I was like, eh, well, like... I was kind of thinking along the lines of once you're in there, just your work ethic, I could see where they might be like, do you want more hours? Because you work, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty and work. Right. You know? Yep. Dry handies in the parking lot. Goddamn right. The driest. <laughs> After cutting onions for eight and a half hours. Yes, yeah, exactly. Onions and jalapenos. Yeah, everyone's crying. <laughs> <laughs> you, not because uh, of the, the slicing things, but just because of the turns life has taken. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, use your tears as a lubricant. <laughs> right? uh, that's a terrible idea. All right. Terrible. Uh, I've also this past week uh, been like trying to declutter the house. Mm-hmm. I've been uh, selling shit online. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, selling on Facebook while convenient because it's local, yeah, is it's it's, it's kind of a nightmare. Mm-hmm. You know, like I like I uh, you know I sold some glassware to some dude, and you know the guy's like. Yeah. Hey, can you meet me in Toledo? Uh, when are you ever across the border? And I'm like, I don't know, all the time. <laughs> You're like, which border? <laughs> yeah, like I, I live in Temp. Well, you know, I'm interested in, a, in that glass. If you're ever this side of the border. I'm like, okay, where do you want to meet? Maybe, <laughs> you know? maybe they have a uh, police paperwork that says they're not allowed to cross the line. I, I don't know. It was so weird. So we met in a Lowe's parking lot and the dude was late and I'm like, this isn't worth my money for this glass I'm selling you. Yeah. And then later that day, another guy. Now, did I you mash him, mash him over the head with the glassware? I, I was getting to the point. I'm mm. like, what the fuck, dude? Right. And then once again, later in the day, I, I sold another thing to a dude, which apparently I had no idea, severely undercharged for. But yeah. I didn't think we paid for it. I thought someone else did and just never got it out of our house. So I was like, ah, fuck it. We got nothing in it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's how I felt about it. Fair enough, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, uh... For the dude is super late. He's like, ah, man, my work's late. Uh, he hold me late. I'll be there in like ten minutes. I'm like, all right. And I, you know, I was actually over by your house at Solano's. Oh yeah, right. 
I was like, okay, and I'm just sitting there like fucking around on my phone, fucking around on my phone, more fucking around. Then finally, dude pulls up, and like, <laughs> it was an older black gentleman gets out of his car, probably seventy five percent of his teeth gold. Nice, nice. And the first thing he says was, "Oh shit, man, I should be buying your Jeep." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right. Well, I have this for you. <laughs> ah, man, if you ever think about selling that, you call me. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll do. Right. Have a good one. Well, at least you know he's got some money. I guess. You just I'll pull do. a couple of teeth out and pay exactly. you for the Jeep. <laughs> the <teeth is> <laughs> he's like, hold on, play it. Turns around real quick. <laughs> Yanks <laughs> out six teeth. Grip. Yeah. You're like, nah, I want one of the front ones, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on if I'm getting rid of my jeep you're going to look real goofy <laughs> like and I recommend doing the jeep wave but don't smile <laughs> yeah for yeah. sure oh, and, but I you know I, and then I had a bunch of glassware on there and I took it all down because I'm like fuck this this mm-hmm. is annoying I put it on ebay instead and yeah. that's been going fairly well Right. but uh and then I have this big dopey like cupcake holder Okay. The genie's like, you can sell that. I hate making cupcakes. I'm never going to use that. Get rid of it. Fair Perfect. Enough. And that's something I don't want to ship because it's big and dumb. Fair. Yeah. You know, so I'm like, well, yeah. let me see if I can't sell it locally. It sat, it sat, it sat on Facebook for a week mm-hmm. at like 10 bucks. <laughs> oh, wow. So I'm like, I'm going to drop it by a dollar. Mm-hmm. And I got hit immediately. This, this lady messaged me. Oh hey, can you meet me at the Tim Hortons on Glendale, which is nowhere near me for going close. local? Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I can, but I can't until this time. Well, I'm at work. Okay. Well, how about can you meet me at ten o'clock at night? And I went, I can, but how about the Kroger's on Sylv- in Sylvania because it's kind of like a middle ground, right? And it's well lit. Yeah, it's well lit, and then never heard back. It's like what. Yeah, so they wanted to roll you. That's cool. No. <laughs> it's just, it's just annoying, man. You get out. They just, someone just comes out of nowhere, hits you in the back of the head. They take the cupcake thing and leave. That's it. They I mean, don't, whatever. They don't mess with your wallet. And you get up and you're like, eh, well, at least it's gone. I guess they needed that. <laughs> well, it's like I got this big dopey workout machine yeah. that I put on there and I mm-hmm. added to the post. Pick up only. I'm yeah. not delivering that fucking Fuck shit. Yeah, good call. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people are looking at it, but just, I want to just get rid of it, though. Yeah. Get well, out of my house, well, man. It's kind of annoying, too. It's like, look, like that, the the cupcake thing. It's like, dude, you're only looking for $9 on the thing. And the, yeah, it's like, oh, can you, it. yeah, can you come to me? It's like, fuck you, come get it. Yeah. <laughs> like, like it's nine bucks. I ain't making anything. If I drive to you, I'm, I might as well just set this thing out in the fire pit. Uh, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> like, I mean, the Lowe's thing, I wanted to go there and look at stuff anyway, so I was like, whatever. Yeah. But the other dude, late in the day, I just went there to just give him that shit. And mm-hmm. I was like, this is this is a waste. Why mm-hmm. am I doing this? Yeah. So I'm, so I'm like, fuck, I need to either have, if you want it, you come get it, mm-hmm. or I'm just going to start setting shit aside and do like a dumb yard sale someday. Yeah. Although, don't get me wrong, I mean, the idea of them coming to your house is probably a terrible idea also, but you could at least, you know, like, you know, maybe, you know, tell them they got to meet you somewhere on this side of town. You yeah, know? I don't know. It's yeah. just... But, like, I mean, with the dude. weight the weight thing, I mean, obviously, they have to come to your house to get that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I think I'm with so. you. I had one of those things, and fuck those things. I mean, I... I've moved it, I don't know how many times, because yeah. I got it from my in-laws, moved it out of their basement, took it apart, moved it out of their basement, yeah. reassembled it at our old house in the basement, mm-hmm. took it apart, moved it here, reassembled it, and then took it apart and put it in our closet, because we have like a big walk-in closet we really don't use. Yeah. This has got like, you know, we have an attic, how, whatever, so it's all angled weird, so we don't go in there, we just store shit in it. Yeah. But yeah, you know, I open up the closet that gets some stuff, and I'm like, "Oh fuck, that thing's in here." Click, click, pictures. Let's po- let's get rid of it. Yeah, everything yeah. must go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you ain't kidding though. I I ended up giving giving mine away because um, it, it was just you know I took it apart and moved it once, and then after that I was like, and it ended up you know Jen's brother is you know took it off my hands so. And I, he was like, well, you know, do you want anything for it? I was like, get it out of here. You know, like, yeah. come over, take it, take it down and take it out. 
and that's that's all I want for it. <laughs> I just yeah. want the space, you know. So yeah. yeah, I mean, and truth be told, I have zero money into it. Yeah. So I, I was like, yeah, I'll put up for like a uh, hundred twenty-five. See if I see if anyone bites, and then I'll drop it down twenty-five bucks. See if anyone bites, mm-hmm. and, you know, go mm-hmm. from there. Right. I'm once again just trying to get rid of it. Right. Like I gave you three fifty. <laughs> Like yes, like three hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. No, oh, that's three teeth fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh shit. Oh yeah, it's been a weird week. Yeah, not a bad, not a bad one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, besides well, all that, least, yeah. besides me realizing that selling shit on Facebook is just dumb. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Meh. Meh. Yeah. I do know plenty of people who bought stuff off there because, like you said, it's super convenient because it's local and people seem to feel safer using that than Craigslist. So. Which, I mean, actually, I should post some of that stuff on Craigslist too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why not? You can start writing Lost Connection posts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we should post some of those. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, anything else? From your week? Uh, well, I, I mean, we can, you know, let's, let's ping pong this. Man. Okay. All right. Fair enough. So I went back to the, uh, uh, urologist this week, you know, to get the follow up on my blood work and whatnot. And, um, I, I get in there and I, I go into the exam room and the nurse assistant, I don't know the official name for, you know, whatever she comes in. And I, she just got, like, I see she's got a little tray that has, you know, a pretty good sized needle on it. And I'm like, and I was like, uh, and she's like, oh, we have you down for a, a testosterone injection. And I was like, okay, but I thought I was here for a follow up. <laughs> Jesus, where does that go into my soul? Oh, I knew as soon as I saw the size of it, I'm like, that's an ass needle. There's no way that's an arm needle. <laughs> <laughs> that's an ass needle. <laughs> Hey, we don't want to mask needles. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, you know, she's like, oh, well, I can get the doctor to come in here and then, you know, she tells me to drop my, drop my britches a little bit so that, you know, um, and actually it's supposed to go in like the hip, not the ass meat, but, um, she's like, you'll just feel a little pinch, you know, and I did. It didn't really hurt going in, but when she went to pull the damn thing out, holy shit, man. <laughs> It hurt like a bitch. So, and then she's like, do you want a Band-Aid? And I'm like, I, I, I kind of like, you're the expert here, you know? Like, and she's you like, well, you're. You just well, me full testosterone. I'm fucking jacked. <laughs> right? <laughs> she's like, and. Uh, you just head butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just all monster from that point. <laughs> um. Yeah, she's like, well, you're not bleeding. And I'm like, well, if I'm not bleeding, no, I don't. I'm like, what? <laughs> Why do I want a Band-Aid if I'm not bleeding? Like, well, are you going to make a cotton ball bunny? Because I might be. Oh, well, okay, yeah, that's a different story. Yeah, so anyway, you know, so I was like, oh, well, you know, it was quick and whatever. The doctor comes in, and he's looking at the, <laughs> the results of the blood work and was like, yep, that's exactly what I thought it was going to show. He's like... So now that we've wasted the insurance's money and all of our time, he's like, now let's. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is Doc shoot straight to the point. Yeah, right. I love it. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, so he talked to me about, yeah, the testosterone and stuff. And, you know, they, they gave me the shot. I got to go back in in two weeks, I think. And basically, we're, we're going to talk again. And then he's probably going to talk more like longer term. Uh, solutions rather otherwise I'd have to go in like every two weeks to get another shot uh, that's a bummer it sucks you know like you know how they have like insulin pens and shit it's like too bad you can't just do it yourself but I understand not turning someone loose with like a month's worth of testosterone <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I don't get it Beefcake. is that a problem <laughs> yeah it's so um yeah so that was that was fun um but you know nice to know that various numbers and stuff all line up that that you know is essentially the cause of it that it wasn't like a fluke number the first time and stuff you know so yeah so that was a good time um and that's I mean, yeah. I, uh, what day was this uh thursday yeah thursday i mean do you feel any better i know it's early 
It, well, he told me that I'd start feeling different in like a day or so. And I really don't feel that different. So I, I like, I don't know in testosterone. I don't know if there's like, you know, you start at a low dose and work your way up or if it's like, here's the dose, you know? Right. So I, I don't know if, uh, what's going on here. So, you know, we'll see. But, uh, cause obviously if I don't feel much different, that's, that's something I'm going to talk to him about. Be like, eh, you know, like really don't want to keep getting shot up with something if I'm not going to feel any different, you know? Right. Exactly. So, yeah. So I, and actually the, yesterday and today it felt a little weird, like a little off. And I'm, I would, there's a good chance that may be that because that, you know, testosterone being off messes with your other chemicals you know, in your body. So it's like, well, now if that's starting to write the ship, maybe the other stuff's adjusting. And now I'm on medicines that also adjust things, you know? So right. it's probably just a, you know, a cluster like fuck. It, like you felt a little off. You wake up covered in sheep's blood and there's mm-hmm. a mm-hmm. local news story about a massacre in a local <laughs> field. <laughs> exactly. It's like, it's like, oh, wow, that's too bad. <laughs> like, wow, crazy. Wow. I'm, why am I so full? Uh, <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. This is so weird. It's so weird. Why is there all this fur? <laughs> <laughs> and blood. <laughs> so soft, though. Right. Or better yet, I just question the fur, but not the blood, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Where all this fur come from? Oh, man. Yeah, so, so you know, it, it, it helps, you know, again, feel like there's a plan you know, that, that we're, I'll be working on and hopefully it turns out, uh, hopefully it turns out for the best, you know, that, uh, you know, that the testosterone does make a difference cause it'd be really awesome. And, you know, I learned some stuff at the doctor's office. I didn't know, like the things that low testosterone can cause is crazy. You know, it, it's like, it can cause diabetes because it forces the body to, um, um, uh, take, it, take insulin differently. Really? Yeah. So you, it can actually cause you to be diabetic because your body won't use insulin correctly. You know, it can cause depression. It can cause high blood pressure. It can cause confusion, you know, types. It's I like, it, it's amazing how many things that that being off can kind of mess up. So I'm really curious to see, you know, that that's the kind of thing I'm curious about because look, if, you know, I'm not trying to blame anything I have on, you know, like, I'm not gonna be like, oh, well, I'm only, I'm only showing diabetic numbers because of testosterone. <laughs> you know, it's like, no, I have those things because I can't stop eating candy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, candy. Well, there's genetics, you know, there's all these reasons, but whatever, you know, so. Right. But I am very curious to see that. So, um, that, that is, uh, that is pretty interesting that, it, that, Low, low T can be a root cause of a lot of stuff. Yeah, right. You know, huh. and, and the thing is, like I said, like a lot of the stuff that it can cause like that, I'm looking at the list going, man, I have that, I have that, I have that, you know, so, cause I've wondered for a long time, I'm like, you know, look, I know certain, you know, I know the lifestyle choices I've made can lead to diabetes, high blood pressure and high cholesterol as well as genetics factor into that too. But, you know, it's like a lot of this stuff, but it, then I, you know, but when you see something like that, that potentially could be involved in it, maybe it didn't cause it, but it certainly didn't help the cause, you know, kind of thing. Right, right. Yeah. So, yeah. Like I said, it'll be, that's what I'm most interested to see because it'd be nice. Yeah. Even if it didn't fix all of it, if it would just help with a couple of those things, it'd be awesome, you know? I I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if you start feeling like once, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how fast it works, right, but yeah. I would, it would, it wouldn't surprise if you feel better. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing is that's what I'm hoping for. Cause if, if I start feeling better, then it's time to go talk to the doctor at some point. Now, not right away, of course, but you know, at some point about like, Hey, do I still need to be on all these medicines? You know, cause like now he got me on a testosterone shit. regimen. I really got to get some HDH going <laughs> for sure, man. I mean, listen. Start if, hitting that squat rack. That's right. If I'm going to get swole, I'm doing it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Got to do it right. Damn right. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's about it. Like, not a whole lot happened to me this week. I mean, you know, my lady friend's here visiting, and I feel like an ass because we're doing the podcast while she, it's, it's her last night 
<laughs> It'll be over soon. <laughs> what? My life, the night, or the podcast? Uh, yes. yes, is the correct answer. No. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, that's, you know, so that's been a lot of fun and it's been a good week though. You know, I, good. I feel like I'm saying that more and more, which is really awesome to go into a crazy life moment. You know, like I, I really feel like I'm saying that more and more about things. So hopefully it continues. That's a good thing. Yeah. For sure. And just to let anybody know, I mean, we're just, just a skosh past, you know, it's, we're just inside a month. Till my 40th birthday. So, you know, I do have an Amazon wish list for anyone who would love to buy me gifts. I'll, t- I'll accept them. And <laughs> well, I mean, speaking of your 40th birthday, you know what's happening in Toledo on that day? Uh, I'm getting the key to the city. You should. I should. No. no? Damn. No. All right. One of these days. Uh, the, the Rickmobile's coming to Toledo that day. Oh, is it? I did not yes. know that. Ooh. Well, well, well. Well, I don't completely agree with where it's going to be. Oh, boy. Because it's going to be to whatever comic shop is attached to the game room. Huh. Okay. Which, you know, I know people are like, huh? Yeah. Okay. But Brian knows what's up. I do. I do. Yeah. Huh. Fuck that place, guys. Yeah. I'm with Tony on that. Yeah. Yep. But, I mean, you know, I was like. I, when I saw where it was going to be, because I figured it was going to be somewhere downtown, because downtown's the high, the happening well, spot. I didn't realize they set up si- outside of like comic shops. Well, the last time it toured kind of anywhere near here was Ann Arbor, and because it did two days in Ann Arbor at right. U of M uh, campus, and that's where it went last time. It went to a bunch of colleges, so I kind of thought maybe it would just do the same thing. But hey, apparently, it's going to comic shops and other. Stuff. Well, why did my soundboard turn off? I was about ready to play a sound. Nope. In other places of that ilk. Hmm. But when I read where it was going to be, I mean, ah, horse. <laughs> that's what I felt about that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Hmm. But it's uh, yeah. So the Rickmobile's coming. It's uh, you know, they're going to have all the Rick and Morty gear. Neat. And it's uh, happens to be on your birthday. Wow, how convenient! They should give me all the things for free. They should. They should they just should. give me all of it, like the truck, everything involved. The workers, well, everything should be given to me. No. <laughs> well, I gotta make money somehow, you know. It's true. I'll pay true. him. Will you though? Shh. No. <laughs> yes, pay but. Him sweet, sweet loving. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pay him by not killing their families. I mean, that's, that's payment itself. That I conveniently have trapped. That's a, that is a devious plan if you go to that length. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. But whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, what do you what do you want to do on your uh, your birthday there? Oh, that's a good question. I mean, you know? yeah, that's that's a, that's a good question. I mean, I'll probably you know pull my pants up to my tits and uh, you know hmm. put a good nice call. sweater on so I don't get a chill because it'll be True. drafty probably because September. You know, right. Figured I mean, maybe we'll go go to Denny's and get the uh, early bird. You know, nice. Go get us nice. Some I'm always down for some uh, hot cakes. <laughs> go get some supper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Supper. Uh, man, do you guys have a senior discount? <laughs> Can I get some Sanka? Do you still have Sanka? <laughs> fucking Sanka? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see the menu. Do you have a wide eye? What do they call those? A large format one. <laughs> what? A wide eye. eye. <laughs> Oh my! Yeah, you know, it's one that really surprises you. Like, yeah, I guess. Wow. <laughs> well, there's a, a commercial on TV right now where these two people are in a restaurant and it's like got like low lighting, you know, and they they can't read the menu because they don't have their readers with them. So the guy brings like he pulls off menus like off the wall, like the you know giant ones, and gives them to them. Yeah, basically. It'd be amazing. Yeah, that's one that's advantage to the know. tablets, you know, because you could zoom in on. The, the size, Brian, you know. If they're so old, they don't, they can't read the menu. <laughs> a tablet is like black magic. <laughs> Get right. your Satan device away from me. <laughs> yeah, that's probably they're, true. They're like draping their holy rosary on it, trying to exercise it or whatever. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But yeah, there you go. All right. So what else you got? Uh, I drank a lot of beer this weekend. <laughs> huh, really? Yeah, it was a Friday. We were like, uh, uh, we were like, hey, man. Hey, man. Or was, I think it was Friday. I don't know. This whole week's just been a blur because I haven't been working, so I'm all fuckered up. Yeah. Someday within the past few days, my wife and I, uh, we went out to Tecumseh, to Tecumseh Brewing. We met our buddy Steve out there. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's, I mean, I don't know. Have you ever been out? Yeah, you've been out there before. It comes to brewing. Yeah, I feel like I have. Yeah, we sat on a patio around that, like, yeah. fire pit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, we went there during the middle of the week. Like, this would be perfect. We could sit at the bar. Barely mm-hmm. we could sit at the bar. The place is packed. Mm-hmm. It's a small town. On yeah. A Thursday, yeah, it was a Thursday. The place is packed, man. Which is good for them. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we had a few beers, had a few laughs, had a little bit of food. Got a grower filled because they had a group on. That's why we went there, actually. Oh, okay. All right. Makes sense. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I had just a few there, and then we had, you know, that housewarming party had a few there. And then Friday as well, it was a uh, our good old Shorts Brewing. Had mm-hmm. a, their fourth annual tap takeover at the bowling alley not too far from us. Right. That was a good time. Had some old friends there. And I got to say, though, the the owner kept coming over. Oh, hey, guys, we all doing okay? But, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Nice enough guy. It was kind of like, please leave. <laughs> right. Know? Yeah. But he's talking up their food. Everything's made from scratch. It's all delicious, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. There's probably like six things on the menu. <laughs> Which, I mean, I don't want a huge menu. Well, yeah, right. But, I mean... Give me more than, like, buffalo chicken dip pretzels, a Reuben ribs, and something else. Mm-hmm. Although he did say they make their own corned beef, which I'm interested in that. That's interesting. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know. Right. But the thing that kind of annoyed me was the dude is like, uh, hey, um, Sunday, you know, we, we took a bunch of beer off tap to put all these short beers on. Mm-hmm. So Sunday we're we're trying we're gonna try to get rid of everything. So it's gonna be ten dollar growler fills. We're like, really? We'll be back. Yeah. So today was my uh, family's fantasy football draft to do every year. We left here. We went to the bowling alley. Took some growlers. Like this will be perfect. We'll be like the goddamn heroes coming in with jugs of beer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like like just after you know the the Vikings get back and you're you know toasting with big jugs of mead and such. Yes, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that's what it was going to be like. Yeah. Until we walked in and one of the ladies like, hey, hon, what can we help you with? Like, yeah, we're here to fill some growlers. And she went, oh, are you guys Mug Club members? And I went, no. She's like, yeah, well, we don't actually fill growlers for Mug Club people till after five for because of the shorts event. And it'll be after eight for everyone else. And it's like, why didn't he tell us that when yeah. we were? <sighs> so we're a little disappointed by that, but we yeah. headed outside because they had, I mean, I don't know when's the last time you've been to Forest View. Uh, the last time I was there was with you when, um, was it, there was a founder's takeover, I think, or something oh, like that? It was the first short, it was the yeah. first short step. Takeover. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it was shorts. Well, you're was, right. Uh, yep. It was four years ago because yeah. we were at the very first one. Exactly. That's how long ago it's been. Okay. Well, they, you remember how they had, you know, the taps inside. Well, mm-hmm. they have now an outdoor bar and then they have a beer trailer out there. Oh, okay. That has taps in it too. Okay. So when we were inside, it was fucking monsoon season out there. We're like, we're not going to the outdoor bar because yeah, right. it's insane right now. Right. But there was a couple beers we have never had. You know, that is you got to have everything. Mm-hmm. So, um, we were like, well, we're here. Let's go see if those are still out there. And, uh, dude, I got to say, if I go back to Forest View, mm. I'm hanging at the outside bar. Because it felt like like a Caribbean beach bar almost. <laughs> like, it's not many seats, but there's indoor and outdoor seating, and there's picnic tables and shit everywhere. And there's some dude out there playing, middle of the day on a Sunday, playing acoustic guitar and singing. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, this is this is so much better than being inside. Yeah. Was it yeah. was it a nightmare inside like the one we went to before? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It wasn't bad when we first got there, mm-hmm. but by the time like I had to scoot over 
and we had to throw bags on seats to make sure, you know, Symphy and her man yeah. could sit by us yeah. because it just got insane. Yeah, right. And I don't know how it was outside because, you know, like I said monsoon. Mm. But, dude, middle day, that was nice sitting out there. Yeah. I, we would, I mean, I, I would definitely go back and just hang out outside. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Did it but take six we, years to get a beer this time? Nah. No? Awesome. Well, at least they got that shored up. Yeah. Yeah. Because that certainly detracted from the experience last time, you know. Well, well, I mean, we were, to be fair, we were sitting at the bar. Oh, okay. And, That's yeah. and, and also, to be fair, for Cynthia and her dude, they were behind a wall of taps. Yeah. And he was trying very hard to get another drink. And we had to get the bartender's attention. Like, hey, this guy. Oh, wow. So, I mean, they weren't, I know it's, it's probably busier than they're used to because everyone's showing up for that. For sure, yeah. But still. Get on your A game, girls. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. That's what I remember seeing last time because I, I remember us like not being able to get any, a drink for ever because I think I only had one or two beers. Oh yeah, because I ordered two when I first ordered because I I got their um oh shoot Bel Air Brown and right. I believe and I got two of them and you know because I knew that was yeah you know, that's because I mean we Jeannie and I both get you know, our our afternoon beers we got. They're not pints. They're twelve ounce glass cups, like plastic cups. Yeah, and our total is like twelve and change. Cool. Yeah, and it's like Jesus. I mean, if it was pints, I'd be like, well, twelve ounce though. Mm. Yeah, I know. Mm. It's like uh, I really feel like that's like cans, like, man. I mean, yeah. Ugh. So I yeah I feel like they're they I I mean I don't know if it's because it's a shorts event they knew people were coming they jacked it up a little bit I don't know yeah. I, I might have to go in there on a on a non event day and see what the prices are, but mm-hmm. yeah, because they had a lot of good shit on tap that was not shorts. Yeah, like like they had like backwoods on tap, and I mean they had nice. they had all kinds of good stuff. It's like ooh man, they had the dragon's milk mocha mint. Hmm. Yeah, just stuff you don't really see. And it's like Jesus, I kind of want some of this in my life, but how much are you charging me? Mm. Already know, like craft beer on its own is not a cheap product, and you know, but it certainly doesn't need to be marked up. That doesn't, you know, that hurts the cause. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, especially, I mean, if if you sat down to that dragon's milk, just ordered it, just whatever, just ordered it, and boom, and next thing you know, you see it's like you know a nine dollar bottle of beer or something. You 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 know your uh, your chance or the odds of you ordering a second drastically probably drop. You know, oh boy, would it? Right? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, like, not that off, not that that should guys. be. Yeah, I was gonna say not that that should be like a four dollar bottle of beer, but you know, what I'm saying it's there it's is still, a there is a price point where you're gonna be like, wow, we're done here. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's go. Any well, remember you and I did that at Fleetwoods when we ordered beer there. Remember, and we were like, wow, like Budweiser's five dollars or whatever. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's one and done this. Plus, we had a much better time across the street. Yeah, we certainly did. That's how I got introduced to the trash man. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, right? That is true. Oh, man. <clears throat> but, I mean, I guess as for stuff, that's really about it. I got a couple of random things mm. I pulled aside. Okay. I mean, I already got into one at the Rickmobile. Right, oh, which is cool, yeah. Very cool. Um. I'm sure, like, you saw, like, uh, earlier this week, um, Jim the Anvil Neidhart died. I did see that, yeah. Yeah, and if you're not familiar, folks, he he was a wrestler from mostly our our youth, like, 80s, 90s is when I know him from. You know, he's part of the Hart Foundation with Brett the Hitman Hart, and then later on with um, Owen Hart, they were the new Hart Foundation or whatever, and, you know, um, stuff. But he was... It was funny because, you know, a lot of guys in, like, the, the 80s had horrible physiques but were pushed as strong because they were just big. You know, he's not one of those guys. Like, he – you could tell, like, he was a shot put um, uh, specialist, I guess, in college and whatnot. And, just, and he was called the anvil because stupid strong and whatnot. So, you know, but he, was, he was a big dude. You know, not fat, just a big dude. Wait, he was built like a power lifter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so you had him as the power and, you know, Brett the Hitman Hurt as the technician. You know, so it was, uh, 
They were a very popular tag team for a long time. Right. What was really sad was later in Brett's run in WWE, they did, I don't know if you remember, like, they did the whole, like, um, like, a bunch of the Canadians were together, allegedly, and they were all just like, boo to America, kind of a thing, like, you're all a bunch of assholes and whatever, and, uh, the group of them that did that, there was, what, like, five of them, I think, and Brett is the only one alive. Really? Yeah, because Jim's See what gone. Happened? Did he boo America? Right. Because it's like Owen Hart's dead, Brian Pillman's dead, Jim the Anvil Neidhart's dead, Davy Boy Smith is dead. You know? So it's like Brett the Hitman Hart's the only one left. So it's, I was like, ooh, I didn't really, you know, thinking about that, but. So yeah. that happens when you piss off the Eagles. <laughs> the bald Eagles. Caca! Right? America. No, um. But uh, it it seemed it was a really sudden thing too. It wasn't like he was ninety, and I don't think it had, it was like it wasn't a drug thing that I'm aware of. He might have been sick. I just didn't know about it or something. But it just that was gonna be my next question. What did he die of? Yeah, I don't know honestly. I don't know if they've released that or not. <clears throat> Last time I looked, I didn't see a cause of death, but it was just like wow, you know, because it just kind of came out of nowhere, like the diamond cutter. Oh, oh shit! What was his finishing move? Who? Jim Dan Valenhart. Oh, fuck. What was it? Well, I know, like, obviously him and Brett had a tag team gimmick that was their, their move. Cause I believe, wasn't it the, um, I think he, he like held the guy over his oh. knee or something and Brett dropped an elbow or something like that or a knee. Well, first off, it's got a terrible name. Okay. <sighs> it's the anvil flattener. <sighs> okay. I mean, I don't, I don't think you'd be able to hear the sound from this playing because I'm playing, it's a 10 second video of the anvil flattener. Mm-hmm. I might as well put it in our show links because it's in front of my face. Yeah, okay. See so here, he'd pick the guy up, like, uh, uh, oh, and then he'd slam them and land on top of them. So is it just like a power slam kind of a thing? Kinda, yeah. Huh. Alright. It's not very exciting, Jim. Yeah, well. I mean, it'd be great if you, like, shot put their testicles in the crowd or something. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be pretty impressive. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'd be like, wow. That's... Especially someone sitting out in the crowd, and they're like, I got him! You know? <laughs> <laughs> Souvenir? His owner hanging off his mirror. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds awful. They just bring in local talent for him to... <laughs> <laughs> to destroy like that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He doesn't do that move on anyone on the actual roster, just to the local talent. Just the local talent the gets enha- their balls shot put in. Yeah. <laughs> the enhancement talent, if you will. The jobbers. Um, yeah. It, it, like I said, it was weird because it seemed to catch a lot of the wrestling community off, off guard too, you know, as, it was cool. WWE, as I've said on here before, WWE did a great package of highlights from his career and stuff. And, um, and of course they've got on the WWE network, they've got a collection of, you know, uh, matches from, you know, like the Hart Foundation and stuff. So. Right. If anyone has a network and wants to have a look see, like I said, WWE is fantastic about that. They really do kind of put a spotlight on these guys' careers, you know. Wow. Apparently, because I just pulled up a random article, uh, he, it appears he, preliminary information shows that he just fell, hit his head, and then succumbed to the injuries. Oh, geez. Wow. That's a shitty way to go after being, like, bouncing around the ring all your life. Yeah, right. That's why I said, as, as far as I know, he wasn't in, you know, bad health or anything like that. So, that's that's too bad, though. Yeah, all right. I liked him as a kid, you know, because the Hurt Foundation was one of, obviously, you know for sure, you know, they're not my favorite tag team, but they were definitely one of my favorite tag teams. And Right. Know, I always liked how he used to laugh also because he had that long goatee and then he, you know, kind of kind of some crazy laugh and, you know, it was good fun. Good old Jim DeAnvil. Yeah, he just seemed like a maniac. I liked it. Well, you have to be a maniac to wear, you know, the tightest pink pants imaginable. <laughs> they were pretty tight. Pretty tight. <laughs> I mean, that's that's one thing I'll give them. Mm-hmm. If you can wear pink and look like a badass, yeah. there you go. Yeah, that's true. 
Right. Yep. Even Brett, after a while, was like, you know, time to switch to black. <laughs> Man, it traps for days on that guy. Yeah. Jesus. Right. Well, like you said, you know, he he essentially was a power lifter because to be a shot putter, you've got to, you know, have those kind of. Well, uh, he apparently earned his nickname because mm. he won an anvil throwing contest. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, all right then. Well, there Last you go. I checked, anvils are pretty uh, heavy and stuff. So, yep, yep. That's that's pretty terrific. In cartoons, they just bring him in to drop him on <laughs> the characters' heads. You know, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he works for the Acme Company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time one drops, they just slowly scroll up, and you just see him like doing his laugh and like <laughs> giving a thumbs up or something like that. Jim, you're being hired by that coyote out in the desert again. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, well, his check's cash. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. So, yeah, another another wrestler gone probably well before they should have, you know. At least this I one mean, wasn't drug-related or something, though, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I hate to say it, but it seems like 63 is like a ripe old age for I a wrestler. Oh, right. It's, yeah. I mean, it really is for that era of guys. It, yeah. it really is. Like this era, like the guys wrestling now probably will live forever because they're all like CrossFit junkies and all this kind of, you know, they're all about eating right. They don't go out and booze up on the weekends. You know, a lot of them go right back to the hotel room and go to sleep, you know. Pussies. <laughs> well, because a lot of them will get up at like four in the morning, hit the gym, you know. And... How are you supposed to have like 111 kamikazes or whatever Rick Flair was doing? <laughs> right. Fuck. Or like Andre, you know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. Nobody's drinking like like Andre, though. Uh, no. Or probably Rick right Flair. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. Christ. Uh, he's, he's, you know, apparently he's clean and, and such now, though. So, looks like he's on a bit on the rebound from all the health issues he had. So that's that's good news. That, oh, that is good news. Kind of a, a weird update. You know, I told you last week, I think it was or whatever, when um, uh, Jerry the King Lawler's son died, right? And it was ruled or, or looked like a suicide because apparently he was found. You know, he'd hung himself. And Jerry Lawler has hired an investigator because apparently the stories don't add up. Really? Yeah. So apparently they seem like they're thinking there may be some shenanigans involved in that. So. Well, that's interesting. Right? It's like, like, oh my, poor king. You know, it's like bad enough you lose your kid and then to, you know, have those doubts and stuff. So, you know, hopefully whatever the result is, they find some peace with it because that's got to really suck, I'm sure, you know. Uh, well, I mean, could it be a thing where he just can't believe that maybe his son did that? I've I've read that some people kind of think that too, but uh, I guess there's a little bit of smoke, you know, with the story. So right. he, he's, you know, sussing it out to make sure that it's not something, you know, that should really be looked into, you know. So, yeah. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see. Indeed. Yeah. All right. You got anything else there? Well, um, I don't know if you've seen this. Some dude, and I, I think he does. I'm gonna, I'm actually want to follow up on his YouTube account. Mm-hmm. His name's John Stratman. Okay. He made a. Uh, have you watched uh, Infinity Wars yet? No. Okay. He's made. There's a. Nice fight scene between, you know, Thanos and like Iron Man and Doctor Strange and uh, Chris Pratt. (laughs) Star-Lord, yeah. Yeah, there you go. On whatever dumb planet they're on. Mm. But he took this whole fight scene and basically did scene for scene, but made it uh, look like a 16-bit video game, complete with sound effects. Oh, wow, nice. And And it looks like it could come out of any game you and I played coming up. That's great. I and like it's that. it's terrific, mm-hmm. and so it has the whole fight scene as a, like the full video, you know. Yeah. And then the second part of the video is the fight scene replayed, but it's side by side with the actual scene. Oh, from the that's movie. cool! So you can see how so you can see yeah. it, and it's done really well. That's cool. I'll definitely yeah. have to check that out. So it's uh, that'll be in our our show notes and links and all that good stuff. And it's uh, nice. I I I, I want to see if he does this with anything else. 
because I always yeah. love 16 bit graphics and sounds. And I mean, you know, it's, I guess that's because that's our yeah. heyday. Yeah, but that's why I love that uh, show. Did you ever watch Code Breakers? Yeah, Code Monkeys. Code Monkeys. Why did I say Code Breakers? Code Monkeys, yeah. Yes, I Code love, Monkeys is great. Yeah, I dug that show, but it was totally done like, well, that was done like, you know, 8-bit or whatever. But still, it was, you know, it was fantastic how they did that show. <clears throat> you know? And I've seen like Adult Swim's got, has put out a couple of games like for mobile and whatnot that are done in that style. You know, which I love. Me too. It should be more like that. Me too. Cause it definitely, first thing it does for like our generation is it hits you right in the nostalgia. So oh, um, big time. automatically it's like, well, I'll listen, you know, like, okay, you got my interest. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Well, I, got, I got that. And I don't know if you've heard about, uh, well, I'm sure you've heard about how shitty the Cleveland Browns are. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, and I know you, I know it gets you right in the feels too, as a Lions fan. It does, cause I, I, I know what their fans are going through. Yeah. yeah. What, well, one in 31 currently. Yeah. It's, man. Rough. Real rough. Yeah. Rough. Yeah. But, and you know how, I mean, we've been talking a lot of craft beer tonight. Mm hmm. You know how I feel about Budweiser, Bud Light, and all that stuff. Yeah. Not, not a big fan, but there's a bunch of Cleveland bars. That, you know, are sponsored by Bud Light here mm. that are installing victory fridges. Okay. And so it's these fridges that are full of the aluminum bottles of Bud Light. Yeah. That are all, uh, Wi Fi controlled. Okay. So when the Browns finally break their losing streak, mm-hmm. the fridges unlock and people can just have free beer. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, I, I hope that these things are going to be, like, behind the counter to where a bartender would have to hand them out. It doesn't look like it. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine that? Like, if you, you're you at the bar, you realize that the whole thing's free beer. You know, people are going to be trying to grab, like, 12 at a time. <laughs> right. You know. I mean, it says uh, the victory fridges are beer vending machines that automatically unlock once the team breaks their losing streak. Mm. They will only open then and not a minute earlier. Oh, man. Well, you know, so, hopefully for their yeah. sake, like week week one they'll be opening, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I know, right? And I mean, it, it's just like when uh, Budweiser sent that guy dressed as a herald to do the cease and desist on that one microbrew of their dilly dilly beer. Yeah. I mean, it's I I I can I can appreciate some of the stuff they do, yeah. but I don't like your product. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm with you. I can. The other thing is, man, can you imagine? All right, so all of those. Those crazy Browns fans are at the game. The Browns win. They're going to be going insane. Already yes. got about 70 beers in them. Now they're hitting right. the bars going for free beer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Seems right? like a bad idea. Oh, man. But, you know, yeah. I'm with you. Good on, you know, good on them for trying to do something like that. And like I said, for your, for the Browns fans out there, I, I hope you don't have Maybe to wait long for the win. Get. Yeah. That's it. Man, one in thirty-one. Yikes! Yeah, brutal. Oof. I'm pretty sure Detroit across the two. You know, when they went zero and sixteen, I'm pretty sure that they won more games the year before and after. You know, so I don't think they were quite as bad, but they were still terrible. So, right. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I mean, like in my because here's how hardcore Jeannie's uh, family is. Yeah. With uh. With Browns, because everyone there at the draft today was in Browns gear, basically, except Josh. Yeah. Who's in me, who I was I'm wearing. I'm in a founder shirt. Right. That is your favorite <laughs> but, team. <laughs> that is my favorite team. <laughs> um, our team got the second pick. Mm-hmm. You know, so first round pick, I'm like, oh, number one running back, LeVon Bell. Yeah. Didn't take him. Really? Because he plays for Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a huge rivalry. Oh man. So I was like, holy shit. Yeah. If Levy and Bell, him. I was going to say, yeah. It's... Like, yeah, for sure I'm taking him. <laughs> yeah. I remember that years ago when you invited me into a, a work fantasy league and like half the people in the league drafted team specific. Yeah. And I was, couldn't dumb. get over how good my team was because I was basically just taking, you know, the cream of the crop. Versus, uh, you know, like, ooh, that was, that was really low. Really low. <laughs> I'm just getting read. Oh. Yeah. 
The cream of the crop. There you go. Um, cream, yeah. Cream, yeah. <laughs> but like the one guy was drafting nothing but uh, Colts players. You know, because I remember, I think I took one of their receivers or something like that, and he was just like, you got to trade that guy to me. And I was like, eh, no, I don't. Because, but, I, but I don't. Well, the problem becomes when you draft a team like that, you have nothing to offer me. Yeah. Because I don't want scrubs. <laughs> you know? Like, bitch, I hope we're playing on your bye week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are doomed. <laughs> well, odds are if we're not playing on your bye week, you're doomed. You know. Oh, yeah, that's true. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I've I'll never understand, yeah. and I'll never understand doing that. Look, I hate the Green Bay Packers, but if Aaron Rodgers is available when I'm taking quarterback, yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm taking Aaron Rodgers, you know? Yeah. When they're playing Detroit, I'm going to be like, I hope he gets killed. But when the rest of the, you know, the other games will be like, well, I hope he at least gets me fantasy points. And they still yeah. somehow lose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, so, you know, fantasy football, I, uh, there is no favorites. It's just the guys that's on my team. Right. That's what I'm, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, and not to mention, it's like, I, dude, I don't know the last time I drafted a Lions player, you know? Right. Um, uh, see, I got Golden Tate. Oh, you know what? A couple years ago in one league I was in, I did have Calvin Johnson. So that, that was always a strong move. Yeah. 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 So that, but that was once before him. Man, I don't, I don't know if I've ever had a Lions player on my team. Maybe a kicker. Like maybe when Jason Hansen was the kicker because he was right. dependable as hell. And you remember the, the leagues we were in used to give extra points for 50 plus yard field goals. And uh, yeah, he yeah, led right. the league in 50 yard field goals for a while. So, but that's probably it. I mean, he was their MVP for years. So, <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> as exactly. Sad as that is. <laughs> sad but true. Oof. Cute Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> well, while we're talking fantasy football, I might as well, uh, you know, uh, point out again, I've got the Dude Mountain League up and, uh, operational. Invites have been sent out to folks, so if you've told me you want to be part of the league and you have not received an invite, make sure you send us an email at saltylanguage at gmail.com or hit us up on Twitter at salty underscore language. And let us know. Or if you're someone who still wants to join, you know, feel free if you're already in, you know, or whatever. Tell tell friends. We don't care. We're just it's totally free to play. Marrier. Yeah. So <clears throat> yep. it would be it would be nice if we could uh, maybe set up some sort of like Twitter room or something if everyone involved can shit talk each other if they yeah. want to. Or yeah, we could potentially do that for sure. We'll figure something yeah. out. Because um, you would think it would have in fantasy league chat but they really don't right so we can it's just so lame operate like the guys in the league did <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> exactly awful awful trash talking to each other yeah yeah um yeah anyways it, it's free to play it's pick them and it's against the spread so you know come show us how how amazing you are at football picking yes please or terrible like we are that's fine too also that. Or be like Heno and have your animals do it. Right. I was just going to say, or if you have a fun gimmick. Actually, I have one that I'm, I'm thinking. I, I've got to try something out. But if so, I'm, I might set up a second account just for a, a gimmick one, just for fun. You know? That's, that'd be that'd be good. Yeah. So, <clears throat> we'll see. So, I'm going to say, yeah, Dude Mountain, join it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. I need to put the Dude Mountains on a fix on her, too. Yeah, you do. You do. Yeah. Yep. All right, yeah. tag. You're it. Um, that's that's basically all I got, oh, man. Okay, I got <clears throat> just a couple of last things here. Um, it's one story I have. You know, forever ago when we did um the little uh side pieces for um you know that were for Patreon members. I yes. believe you remember, or at least maybe it wasn't for that. Whatever it was, where I talked about online dating. Uh, I believe so, yeah. Okay, well, this obviously falls into that, which <clears throat> CNN posted this the other day, or a week ago, something like that. And the first line in the thing says, Online daters tend to pursue users who are roughly 25% more desirable than they are. And by the looks of their messages, many are well aware of the hierarchy. This, um, 
the study found that the higher up we reach, the longer our messages tend to get and the less likely we are to receive a message back. Really? Basically, this is saying that at least in the online dating scene, there are leagues and people try to, you know, um, go up, but it's generally not successful. Huh. Yeah. Um, shoot, where is it? The, sorry, I can't find, well, yeah, the, the woman who did the, the study said, intuitively, I expected to find some sort of desirability gap, she said, but I was thinking more on the order of five or 10%, not 25%. So yeah, it's, there's a whole lot more to this that I'm not going to really get into, but it, it's an interesting read. Um, right. If you're someone who is doing online dating, you know, you might want to read this and reconsider because it, you know, once again, something pointing to it essentially being a joke, you know, whatever. Ugh, that's just kind of, I mean, it's well, kind of shitty though. Well, cause... the reason I the, it kind of points this out is think about it this way. It's like if you take a really attractive woman, she gets hundreds or more messages a day, Right. Right. If that same woman is out wherever, bookstore, bar, anything else, she's, she may get hit on, but it's not going to be that many more. So it's, you know, it's easier to make a, dis, you know, make a choice or, or to look at people and kind of analyze it fairly. On um, these, it, a lot of times it's not that people don't have a chance. I know women right. who get hundreds of messages that sometimes just delete all the messages because they just have too many, you know? I, I can see that. So, you know. Yeah. And like I said, it sounds like the more out of your league, uh, air quotes, a person is, uh, people write a longer message, which makes sense because they're trying to convince them. You know? Like, they're really trying to talk them into, like, why they're a, a, a viable option. So. Right, right. I hate the I hate anything that confirms... Or, or enforces that there's leagues because I really don't think there is, you know, there are plenty of very attractive one, one, you know, like women that are with men that everyone's like, why in the hell are you with that troll? You know, <laughs> right. and, and vice versa, <laughs> you know? So it's like, I don't, I don't full on believe in, in those kind of things, but you know, I don't get me wrong. There are like this, obviously there is, you know, at least in online dating. Now, they didn't say what site they used because the way they were able to get the information was to sign a confidentiality agreement. Oh, bastard. So, yeah, we don't know if it's OkCupid or Plenty of Fish or eHarmony. I don't, you know, whatever. Right, right. But anyways, the, the whole thing will be in the show notes. It's, it's, it's too long of a read for me to do on here, but it's, you know, it's still a pretty short read. <clears throat> So, but yeah, I mean, at the same time, though, you know, that shouldn't dissuade people from being like, oh no, look at this, look at this ten hooks in the water, mm-hmm. hooks in the water. Totally agree with you, you know, and um, that was kind of the approach. After a while, that I was taking was just like, whatever. If it's someone that seems interested, hooks in the water, you know. Yeah, exactly. Why not? Again, you Why know, it's not? like you're you're already single, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, worst comes to worst, you, you have like a 10 minute conversation and be like, this person sucks or yeah. they go vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, who is this troll? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. And then, uh, what was that? I know I had one more thing. Oh. So, we were watching, you know how I enjoy watching, um, infomercials, right? Yeah, who doesn't? Right. They're amazing. Oh, I love them. So, yeah. Anyway, the other night we actually, instead of watching infomercials, we were watching, I think it was HSN, you know, Home Shopping Network. and All infomercial. Right. Wolfgang Puck was on there selling various cookware stuffs, which he's done for a long time and sold a lot of stuff. Right? Yes. It was so funny because... He kept giving looks to the camera and stuff like he gave no fucks about what was going on. <laughs> like, I okay. actually, after a while, got to where I started joking that I think he was drunk and <laughs> just doing whatever. Because they start bringing out um, dishes of food, you know, that they're showing you how great this cookware is, you know. Oh, boy. Like, right. they bring out a pizza, and the pizza did not look very good. And then they bring out uh, macaroni and cheese that looked horrible 
and he he just looks at it, then looks at the camera, and it was kind of like, you know, <laughs> like, Ugh. um, but then they bring <laughs> they brought out a shepherd's pie. And, uh, he gets a spoon and he goes to get into the shepherd's pie. And as he's doing it, he's just slinging shit everywhere, basically. And then he just, he was probably hammered. Dude. And then he kind of just like, you know, put it on the plate. I mean, not quite this severe, but you know, like in a, a movie or something where like the lunch ladies just like split, you know, <laughs> with a, you know, sloppy Joe or something like that. And he basically does this on the plate. It looks terrible on the plate. Like it's not. He didn't even try to get a nice look <laughs> of it on the plate. <laughs> like, they didn't properly plate, wiped on the side of the plate so it looks nice. Right, like, he's about to serve this to, like, his worst enemy kind of a thing. It's just like, fuck it, you know? Um, and then he serves, or he cuts into, um, lasagna. They made a lasagna in, in the same kind of pan. Because it's a pizza pan that's a deep one, so you can make a, you know, Various other casseroles and whatnot. And overall, it's it's a good idea, but basically it's along the same idea of, of using a cast iron skillet, you know? Right. Because you can make a pizza in a cast iron skillet. Oh, yeah. I've you done know? it. It's it, amazing. That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. So this is kind of the same idea, but it was uh, nonstick. And um, so clearly not the same as a cast iron. But <laughs> anyway, get the lasagna, and he does the same. He cuts like a triangle piece of lasagna. Which, first of all, what kind of monster cuts a triangle yeah, yeah. of lasagna? <laughs> what a goddamn animal! <laughs> but then he puts it on the plate, and it just—it just is like again. He didn't like try to keep it, you know, nice looking, or anything. it was just kind of like whatever. And just puts it on the it, plate. It's probably there just because of a contract agreement, like, right? Well, he, oh I, God, is it health uh, HSN day? Right. Son of a bitch, dude! Like, hand I, me that booze. I know he's making bank on this stuff because, like I said, he's been doing it for years. You know, right? And and looking at the stuff, I'm sure it's probably you know the stuff's probably quality stuff. You know, but it's Excuse just me. it probably is. I mean, you know, um, but it's just we're sitting there and we're just laughing ourselves stupid because of just the looks. Like it, at one point, there's there's a woman that calls in. You know how they have, how people call in and tell them how great the product is or whatever. Right. So this woman calls in to tell Wolfgang that she's bought basically everything yeah. he's ever had on HSN. <laughs> and uh, while she's doing it, he just starts fucking eating. That's amazing. <laughs> and uh, um, <clears throat> another part, oh. he um, oh shit, what was it? He did. I'm trying to think. There was something else. Oh, man. Yeah, I can't remember. He just, like I said, he was just giving looks just kind of like he didn't know what camera they were on. And just, it, it was great. You know, I, I was full on enjoying it. You know. Oh, I've uh, I've found this on HSN's website, Brian. Are oh, you talking yeah. about the two-piece nonstick pizza pan set? I am. I am. Fucking sick. That's only one of the items they were selling. I'll I'll, I'll say this, though. They had essentially, for lack of a better term, you know what a panini press is, right? Yes. Okay, well, it was basically a panini press, but, you know, it has the changeable plates, which I know you can buy panini presses with changeable plates, where it had, like, griddle ones, you know? Right. And then you could open it all the way up and use it basically like a flat top. And, right. you know, the the thing, the hinges on the side, unlike some panini presses, you could actually move it so that it wasn't just, um like, an acute a- uh, angle, you know, to oh, where it actually cute. would, <laughs> to where it would actually, you know, put equal heat on the top and bottom of whatever you're cooking right. instead of only getting three quarters of it. Um, and again, I know those exist, but you know, it was like they were showing all the different stuff you can make with that and stuff. And they had a little pot that was, um, that had a, a good handle on it and a colander lid, you know, so you could, you know, it locks basically and then you can pour it out, which is a good idea in a little pot. And I, I could see myself using that. Did Wolfgang have a little pot in him? He might have. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, they made a cake in this, in that little pan too. And this, they had, you know, they always have the salesperson from HSN. They have Wolfgang is the celebrity. And they just had this random other, like, Alleged chef on there. <laughs> alleged chef. And I think she was responsible for most of the food that was made. And, uh, it looked awful. But, um, she made this cake and then she starts like putting the, like decorating it. It just looked, 
it was just her form was not bad, but it was just like, who the hell taught you to ice, how to frost a cake? <laughs> you know, was, right? So yeah. Anyways, that was like that was a good fun watch. You know, it definitely sounds like something. <laughs> oh, it was. Well, again, it was only because you know it it helped that like I said we were you know making drunk Wolfgang references. Or as I kept calling him, Wolfgang gives no pucks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, because it sure seemed like it. Oh man, yeah. Wow, that is that is definitely something, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn Wolfgang. And the th- the funny part is, I've seen him on like Top Chef and different stuff where he's you know done some cooking, and he's not that sloppy. You know, he was just kind of like, fuck it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, right. Like, yeah, I clearly give no shits about any of this. Yeah, it's like, it's almost like, you know, like if it, he were a college professor that has tenure, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> He's just like, fuck you, you can't fire me, <laughs> you know? <It's> just, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> oh, man. He was everything that I wish all of the you know, celebrity co- uh, chefs would be when they're on like HSN or an infomercial. Right. Yep. Wow. Al- although is... it gave me a great idea for a new TV show. I'm interested. Okay. Go on. You get the expert person, air quote, expert person hammered and then have them go try to sell the product. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. So like this, you get Wolfgang Puck just, and just annihilated and he goes out there with some random person who's, you know, the straight person, you know, the play by play. And then he just comes in and just, just fumbles all over the place. So here's, here's what it is. Mm. That's why we need our own, our own television network. Mm-hmm. You have the mm-hmm. salty language, uh, SL shopping network, just the sal- SL salty S- shopping channel, salty shop, whatever. We'll just, we'll, like the- you know what? We'll just call it salty shopping. We'll just go with SS. So all these, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. It's very popular in the late 30s. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> anywho. Yeah, SSN, Salty Shopping Network or whatever. Yeah. So what we do is you have like a half hour where they're just talking about the product. But while they're talking about it, we're just feeding them drinks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then it comes the next half hour is demo time. <laughs> yeah, I like that better. That's the, yeah, you definitely took it a level up. I like that. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice round table discussion about the, your, their shitty panda slinging. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's just like, oh, you need another, you need another cocktail? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, and just be like, oh, well, you know, I'm done with mine. You better be done with yours because we're pouring another one. Right. Next thing you know, you've got one of them trying to tell you how to make paella and it's nothing like paella. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck you, hamburger so helper is paella. <laughs> like, uh, we're going to make a sweet paella, so it's pie <laughs> It's just got a variety of pies in it. Yeah, exactly, like Hostess one. Ooh, nice. Like, oh, you crazy bastards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, that was... That was uh that was a good time. So I kind of want to look to see when Wolfgang Puck's going to be on again, and watch it again to see if this is an every week or every however often thing for you know him being that way, or if it's just like maybe that was just a bad night for him or a good night for him. <laughs> I'm sure he was having a blast, dude. They were selling thousands of these things. You know, whatever. I don't know for sure how many they sell because you know they could run whatever number they want, but it's true. It also would not surprise me if they sell that many. Well, apparently, because I just pulled up their homepage, HSN. Mm. Apparently, today's special is titties. Huh. Oh, it's a it's a three pack of bras. There we go. The, oh. the, the text finally loaded. It's just a woman sitting on a couch in a bra. I'm like, is is it the a bra? It's the Ronda Shear. Oh, okay. Three pack, which three pack Ronda Shear? Wasn't that the broad from? The blonde from USA up all night. She do the dumb movies and she'd just be running around in a bikini. Oh, Rhonda Shear. I, I know, know that name. I don't know. Maybe. You should investigate. I should. I should. That's what happens when you're, you know, 14 years old watching blondes run around in bikinis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, as as you one remembered goes. remembered her names. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the rare part of it. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, that's her. And boy, does she look like garbage now. <laughs> well, I mean, look, yeah, I don't look as good as I did in a bikini at 14 either, Tony. So, you know. A long, hard road for Rhonda. <laughs> oh, it's all that running. From? I, I don't know. I, her past? <laughs> creeps trying to touch her in bikini area. It's like, uh, have you seen Planet Earth 2? No, not yet. Well, there's this one island where these these lizards are like running mm. and just snakes out of everywhere, right? Oh, right. So picture Rhonda, but just dicks. <laughs> oh. So basically, yeah. she's any woman on the internet. Yes, basically. Just, just dicks being thrown at her. Uh, like, yes, ah. exactly. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Kids these days. It's like the bombing of Dresden, but dicks. <laughs> I, I like when you do a smart dick joke, Tony. I, I like that you brought a little learning into that, too, you know? Right. Because people are like, what? Look it up, you savages. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ooh, clearing stuff. Anyway, so, yeah. But, you know, it it just fell right into my, my love of um, infomercials, but not for the same reason. You know, normally I love the bumbling idiots and how they do the tests all weird this one was just more that Wolfgang Puck was just a lot of fun to watch. Like, well, clearly didn't give a fuck. No. <laughs> no. Like I said, if I didn't know better, I'd swear he'd, you know, every once in a while he'd step off camera. He's probably just, you know, knocking back a, a scotch or something. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I, I've had a couple cocktails at a Wolfgang Puck restaurant. restaurant. Mm-hmm. They're delicious. Okay. They're, like, it was when Gene and I were in Grand Rapids. We walked by to go to a musical. It was for our anniversary. Once saw uh, uh, the fucking Mormon one, Book of Mormon. Yeah. And um, we walked by, we're like, what the hell is that? Because it was an outdoor bar and restaurants. It was all in this little patch of grass. Mm-hmm. And Gene was like, mm-hmm. it looks like Wizard of, uh, not Wizard of Oz, Alice in Wonderland. Mm-hmm. So on the way back, I'm like, let's just stop and have a cocktail. Why, why not, right? Yeah. Didn't know it was a Wolf King puck joint. I respect the restaurant game right. he's got going on. Because oh, the no. people working there is great. It smelled yeah. great. His products... This is the man that had cans of soup of heating elements in them. <laughs> yeah. If you remember that. That's right. I, I tried it once because I'm like, that's cool. That would be perfect oh, for man. my lunch. Yeah, uh, garbage. <laughs> yeah, there's that. I, I had totally forgot about that. That is hilarious. It's kind of like the evil chef in Ratatouille just selling out the good recipes <laughs> to make frozen food. He's like I would be if I were a chef. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be the crusty the clown of chefery, you know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like I don't care what it is, I'll endorse it. <laughs> oh man. Uh so all right. Well that's that's all the things I have. Well, I mean, I guess we that I mean we do have a double Q to W that we didn't even mean to do, but we did. Right. So I suppose we should get the double double Qs. Man, that's that's a lot of Q to the W's. Double Q. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Oh boy! All right, let's do this. Let's do it. So last week we asked you a couple things. Yeah, we did. We asked you. Uh, well, I guess we asked you, and then Fluffy Bunny Ash asked you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So she asked, "What is your fight song?" Right. We asked, "What property should have a gimmick beer?" Mm-hmm. We have answers. <laughs> we do. You're right. We do. Mm-hmm. So um, on Facebook, we don't have many answers there. But Big Dev, he came swinging in and rescued everybody. Mm-hmm. His uh, his fight song, which is a excellent song, mm-hmm. is uh, "Close Your Eyes and Count the Fuck" by Run the Jewels. <laughs> that is a good song. Yeah, the title says it all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then his gimmick beer, he says the TV show Elf, the <laughs> beer style Juicy New England IPA, the logo Elf of a bloody mouth and a cat tail hanging from his mouth, wow. the name. Eat the pussy. Wow, that's aggressive. It's an aggressive name, but I could get behind it. I like it, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. That's all we have on the face page, Brian. Oh, my goodness. All right. right. Well, over on my Instagram, where I also posted these, um, our pal Oz from old episodes of Salty Language. (laughs) He was on a couple of them with us. Um, He says, uh, back in the game is his fight song. Okay. Which is a good one. And he said for, um, 
uh, for gimmick beers. He says Funko needs a soda. Funko soda, Funko soda pops has a ring to it. But I'm gonna say Starbucks. I'd be a lot happier through the workday if I was half cut. <laughs> 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 and um our pal Philip, former enthusiast guest. Um I, I this is a great pick for a song. As soon as I read it, I was like, ooh, that that'd probably be on my playlist for fight songs is uh The Beast by Tech Nine. Oh. That's a good that yeah. one gets me amped up pretty wood. He said pretty good, pretty wood, pretty good. Uh he said it started with him listening to it before tennis matches in high school and just got his blood pumping. So he didn't play tennis, by the way. He was just some creep that watched a lot of games. So, no. Well, I mean, tennis skirts. <laughs> right. I think we all understand. Yeah. <laughs> um, for the beer one, he said Shameless could easily do a gimmick beer and make it strong enough so we all black out. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Which I'm, I'm assuming is fair. I haven't watched Shameless yet. So. Oh, yeah. Yes. But from the things I've heard. All right. That's what I got over on the. Instagrammies. And and then uh, I also have answers uh, that circulated through our little Salty Language kit group, which if you guys want to join, just let us know. We'll make sure you get the information. It's very sensual. But it's super sensual. Mm-hmm. Um, but Jeannie, her, uh, her fight song would be Blister and Sun. Okay. And then her gimmick beers would be Mean Girl beers. An example would be like the Diva, the Frenemy, stuff like that. Yeah, that's a good call. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I could see people buying those. Although I kind of feel like it would now be more of a line of the uh sparkling water. Oh, yeah, seltzers and, and shit. all that. Yeah, the spiked yeah. ones, yeah. And then uh Gary, he doesn't have a fight song, but he did have a gimmick beer. Mm-hmm. He said uh, a Wolford Brimley oatmeal stout. <laughs> it's an oatmeal stout with way too much sugar, so yeah. it gives you diabetes. Naturally. Also, there's a mustache on the can. Or the bottle, so every time you drink it, it gives you a little kiss. <laughs> <laughs> that's the right way. <laughs> that's the right way. Or was it the? I can't remember how it was. What was the hell was that? I think it was like the right thing to do and the tasty way to do it. Is that what it yeah, was? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, yes. for Quaker. Yeah. And then uh, Dev also added to his gimmick beer that he could the rocket have beers, such as long neck bottles called "Do You Like Strudel." Mm-hmm. And then the canned version of Do You Like Pie? Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You could, too. Or pancakes. Yeah. Yes. That's uh, that's what I got going on here. If you follow The Rock on Instagram, you can definitely see the man loves pancakes. Uh, pancakes are delicious. Sweet Christmas. His cheat days <laughs> are the most fun thing to see ever. Because yeah. I can't imagine how one person can sit down and eat all the things he eats. You know, but reasons. I mean, I was going to say, but I know he burns like a billion calories a day, so, you know. Well, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. When you're basically a walking butcher shop of steaks. Yeah, really. You know? All right. And right. then speaking, Garrett. <laughs> yeah. Or do you have more? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I, was, well, I mean, I was like, because like, he's, do you have email questions, answers? I've got some uh, Twitter ones and email ones. Oh, well then, I'm sorry, I was jumping ahead. No. After you, sir. All right, well, I'll do the Twitter ones right fast. Um, our pal Steve, uh, at Mr. Jackal says his song is Hate Breed, Destroy Everything. It's a good choice. Good tune. Yeah. yeah. Um, and his gimmick beer would be from The Flash. It'll get you shit faced way faster than you expected. That's fun. I like that. That's a good <laughs> move. Good call there, sir. Good call. Um, oops. Sorry, I have to open this window up. Um, Pittsburgh Nerd Podcast says, Lay It on the Line by Triumph. Which I'm not familiar with that one. I'll have to go check it out. Um, and he says the, um, was it, oh, was that, I don't know. It just says, well, it says at Bad Ideas Pod, which I'm assuming is, well, obviously it's, you know, um, history of bad ideas. But it says, just take Iron City beer and, and add the tears of ben- Bengals fans. Oh, poor Bengals fans. Oh, harsh, man. Harsh. I think Browns fans probably have it worse, though. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, right. If they win, they get free Bud Light. I mean, how how good is that? Yeah, great. Now they're going to lose the whole season again. <laughs> exactly. We don't want that shit, guys. We don't want to do that to our fans. We got Great Lakes Brewing right here. Yeah, right? They have some of that. It's way better. Right. Um, beside a geek pod says fight song by Rachel Platten. Admit it. You want to fight me right now. Works every time. 
<laughs> Which that's hilarious. That's a great answer. Yeah. Uh, and he says, or they say, um, for the gimmick thing, it'd be Danger Entertainment. It's a, a bourbon barrel aged stout. The slogan: Taste the danger. Ooh. Yeah. I mean. Danger. Watch your back. Danger. That's right. Taste the danger. That's right. Uh, history of bad ideas. Uh, hey guys, except for Brigger, you're still dead to me. Um, <laughs> says Dare You by Shine Down, which that, that's a good pick. I like that. Um, and th- <laughs> their gimmick beer would be Beside a Geek, an IPA with hints of french fries and sludge from the Allegheny River. Slogan, amazing until you taste it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. Yeah. I, I like the infighting with this too. It just, you know, warms you, warms yes, you up. Exactly. Right. Uh, at Hobie Pod says, any Iron Maiden, if I have to narrow it down to one, probably ice is high. Good choice. Good choice. Mm-hmm. Um, and the best answer for number two on this was salty language. Oh. Because well, fuck yeah. who wouldn't want gimmicky beers from us? It's true. I mean, at least you know one thing. We're not putting our names on beer that's going to taste like shit. Accurate. Well, mostly. I mean, I still rec- I, I still say show titles would make some of the best beer names. Oh, I totally agree with you. And things like some of this other stuff that I've written down over the years, too. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So, all right. That's what I got on Twitter, at least that I see. So... I will do one more quick check while you're reading off whatever you're reading next. Oh, uh, no, it's, it's for the next Q to W, so. Oh, okay. Well, then I will read you, the sir. emails <laughs> instead. Um, oh, no. Where did Ashley's answer go? Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, what? I know I sent it. Oh, there mm-hmm. it is. I found it. I found it. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Woo. I was worried. Yeah. Um, she said for a song, she says she's got, uh, two and an honorable mention. She's hoping that, um, says, um, her longstanding one would be reflecting God by Marilyn Manson. It's got a calm start and a build up, which gives me a moment to find my rage and focus my anger. And when you get to the lyrics, quote, when I'm God, everyone dies and quote, everyone is about to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, she says, recently she's been liking Rip and Tear off the 2016 Doom soundtrack. Uh, it's by Mick Gordon, I believe, and his studio version is strong too, but she prefers the rearrangement on the soundtrack. And her honorable mention, and this is a good one, I like this one, is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, it's Techno Syndrome, better known as the Mortal Kombat theme. The song hits and the words, Mortal Kombat, ring out. You know it's going to be a fight, even if it's... Just your two drunk friends pantomiming. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. Yep. Yep. You know, I, I have one more to read, but there was something I was thinking about, which would have been um, kind of like the Blade soundtrack would have been a really good. There's a lot of good stuff on the Blade soundtrack that would get me kind of amped yeah, up. Exactly. So, um, ready, ready to kill vampire 83. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As one does. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Cheeto Bandito, his fight song, he says, uh, wow, this is way harder than I thought it would be. See, I'm a pretty mellow dude. I don't get real fired up about too many things. And my days of hard partying uh, says, are, are long past. Don't get me wrong, I still party like a motherfucker, but on a much more chilled level. <laughs> uh, it says, anywho, if I had to pick a song that got my heart pumping and fist pounding, I guess I would pick Break Stuff by Limp Biscuit." Not their version, but the version that a local to his area band used to do. And it rocked. Hard. All right. I can get behind uh, that song. He had a, like a link or something to a YouTube video of these local guys doing it. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. That song always used to get me fired up. So, yeah. Even now, honestly, if I hear it, it gets me fired up. So. Right. I don't care. Make fun of no me judgment. for like bis- Limp Biscuit. I don't care. Nah. Like I said, no, ju- no judgment, man. Oh, I know, man. No judgment. Now, if you were like still rocking the, uh, you know, red backwards hat, I'd yeah. be like, judgment. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, but, damn it, Fred Durst. Oh, come on. All right. That is everything. That's all I got. All righty. Well, those are, uh, you know, some excellent answers. 
I like what you got. Good job. I say so myself. Yep. I like all the interaction uh, this uh, this last week has provided with us. Mm-hmm. Not only interaction, but trash talking between podcasts too. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful thing. Right. So uh, we do have a suggested Q to W by us by our uh, our buddy Garrett. Yeah. Who is apparently living in the middle of a campfire, quote unquote. Uh, right. <laughs> Feel bad for the guy. But he suggested what um, G or PG movie would you remake into a hard R? <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny? I read that question, and I should have, I should have an answer prepared. Right. I should have an answer prepared. Should. Yeah. Um, I got one if you need some time to think. Really quick. Yes, sir. Do you remember, probably not, but forever ago, we recast some movie with Jason Statham, and we turned it into an action movie. Do you remember what that movie was? Oh, God, I do not recall. That's, you know, it sounds like something we would definitely do. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't don't, remember it either. I don't remember it. Okay, because I I was just like, I bet that would probably be the best answer. Or my answer. Um, all right. So what do you got? Well, it's PG already. Okay. Due to very mild language and mild, very mild violence. Mm. But we're going to ramp this fucker up and get it a hard R. Because yeah. I am remaking G.I. Joe the movie. <laughs> well, they already did. No, oh, no, no. you the mean cartoon version shot for of, shot? With Cobra La. <laughs> Okay. Like okay. I, I want Cobra Law to be extra gruesome and vicious. Okay, I'm back in. I want yeah. Snake Eyes chopping heads. I want Sergeant Slaughter just annihilating people. Co- uh, yeah, Cobra clutching everyone. Exactly. Yeah. I, I want, uh, what the fuck is Flint's nephew's name or whatever? Or Duke's nephew's? What's the guy who's a, just a fuck up but saves the day in the end? What's his oh, name? Shit, I can't think of his name. You know what I'm talking about. Corporal Dick Face. What did he look like? He had the stupid little gimmicky beret on and he was like i'm gonna train and stuff but fuck you guys the army sucks this isn't for me man i don't remember his name damn it his nickname either but he would definitely be dip deck deep dick and zarana's sister oh whoa because that almost happened zatanna whatever well that's her name okay whatever dumb name no look see i couldn't make the pull on the other name but this one i know so you gotta just let me have it yeah yeah that's all Exactly. G.I. Joe the movie. Animated. R-rated. There's no lasers. There's bullets, son. Right, right. Yeah, that's fair. Nemesis Enforcer is going to rip somebody in half. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. That'd be fun to watch. You're right. That's a good good choice right there. But you still have to have the classic scene. Snake spear to the chest. Yo, Joe. Oh, for sure. That's oh man, my tear, tears up. tear rolled down my cheek just thinking about it. I know, right? Duke dies, guys. Spoiler. Oh, come on, come on. And his and that turd face McGillicuddy was right there when he died. Didn't even save him. He should have been at guard duty. Turd face McGillicuddy, he says. He wasn't on guard duty. He was too busy flirting. Oh. Yeah, you're right. He was too busy flirting. I know. Stop thinking for your dick, son. <laughs> no. Whatever, whatever his name was. I don't know, but it's kind of bugging me now, so I'm kind of... It's fucking bugging me, too. I'm going to IMDb. That's, I'm, I'm on it. Yeah, that's that's exactly why I was going to go look. There we go. I kind of want to just watch G.I. Joe the movie. You probably don't. No, I kind of do, though. Yeah, I guess. I Oh, it's here. It's, Charlie it's, Adler was low light. It's risky. The hell was Charlie Adler. Wow, I don't know what you just said. Taurus Destro. Uh, I'm just wondering why uh, some of these guys are top build. I don't. I've never even heard of them. Tunnel Rat. Oh, no. that's not the guy. Okay, I this is you. definitely something we should not be doing right yeah. now. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Lieutenant Falcon. Oh, oh by Don Johnson. Oh, duh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew he was a bird. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> I knew his name was a bird. I just couldn't think what it was. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, dude. That's funny. Oh, man. There's your there's this a beer name from the episode. <laughs> I knew he was a bird. Oh, my dude. goodness. <laughs> so, Greg Berger here, Brian. Yeah. Was the voice of Motor Viper as Greg Berger. Wow. But he could say he played himself as a Motor Viper in G.I. Joe the movie, because that's how he's credited. Wow. Anyway, we can't get off G.I. Joe the movie. That's pretty cool, though. Okay, so what what is the uh, ratings restriction on this again? PG or G. Damn it. Into a hard R. So I can't use a PG-13. All right. Damn it. Because my answer was going to be Ferris Bueller. Because I think you oh, that could, would be fun. Because, you know, after making movies like um, The Hangover and shit, I think Ferris Bueller could be a lot of fun to, you know, not that I'm advocating a remake, you know. Right. Oh, man. That's a tough call now. But you kind of have a remake. Yeah. I kind of am, yeah. Man, I don't know. That's a, <laughs> Exactly. I'm really trying to come up with a a good one. I mean, unless I go something I mean, completely uh, wacky, but um, wait, wait, you got you got to think of the, the movies like, like okay, I, I'm gonna give you another one. Okay, Shrimp Brian. Now, it's just a fucking wasteland of filth and awfulness. Well, this is breaking up really bad. Tron. Tron. Okay. Really? Yeah, but not with that bullshit. Like they just remade it, Tron. No, no, like, it's Tron, but he's living in the internet that we... Yeah. Yeah. And it's just terrible. <laughs> like, he's riding, like, dick light cycles and stuff. Oh, my. That's... Wow, that's terrifying. Dick, dick cycles? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Man, I don't know. I can't come up with one. I'm, I'm totally stumped on this. Yeah, right. Well, I was trying to think of like a kids movie or something that I'm a big fan of, you know? Um, I mean, you know, I could always go with something like, you know, oh shit, let me double check it first. Cause, you know, I don't, don't want to get it wrong. How about this? American Tail, Five Will Goes West, but he's just slaughtering Indians. That's the movie! American Tail is the movie we recast with Jason Statham. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Yep. <laughs> nice. Way to randomly that. pull that one out of your ass. <laughs> I, I just because I was picturing Five will just killing India. Oh yeah, for sure. Because you know Five will goes west. Right. I right. wish I, I wish I knew what episode we did that in. Oh, dude, I don't know. Um, I bet we could find it because I probably put something Wait. about it in the show notes. I'm looking. Oh, okay. I'm checked. Here you go. Episode 262, Stingle. Stingle, yep. Well, reworking an American tale. Yep. So there that you go, from, folks. Uh, holy shit, that was, almost, that was almost exactly a year ago. A year and 11 days ago. That's that came really out. funny. Huh. That's, uh, that's pretty funny that we did that. Huh. Um, man, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna go with with us picking that one because I think we nailed it. So that that would be my my kind of thing. Would be mo- some movie along those lines that you know we just recast completely as an action movie. Um, right. Because I can't think of a better one unless I say something silly like Santa with muscles. So. <laughs> it's but it's dick muscles. Ah, well that's terrifying. Actually, but the thing is, that's actually his lawyer friend. <laughs> Richard Muscles? Esquire? Yes. Yeah. AKA Dick Muscles. Oh, man. I like it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's... I mean, I, I could just I could just keep naming movies all day that you could make just awful. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And, and, and you know, and I mean, or I, I mean, I, I, I do remember reworking where I can tell it's an action movie. Mm-hmm. That would be fun, too, to yeah. rework action movies. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, because we totally made American Tale like gritty and shit. So, as it should have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As it should have been. Right. That works vision. You know, I, I'll tell you. Here, here's my my um, my second answer, which would be um, E. T. In the hopes that it's a good movie, because I fucking hate that movie. I never liked E. T. <laughs> like it's just. Elliot's just a, like helping out an alien who's actually here to invade and murder everybody. Yeah, something and along that those lines. Stupid kid because he gave him peanut butter candy keys. <laughs> yes. Totally. Wait, Brian. I'm kidding. I'm... I got it. Hold okay. on. Okay. All right. Sit, sit down and listen. <laughs> Pull up a chair, kids. <laughs> Elliot gives E.T. Reese's pieces, right? Uh huh. E.T. has a horrible peanut allergy. Die. Oh, that's harsh. E.T. Only seeks vengeance. <laughs> yes. Yes. And thus begins the invasion. I like it. That's, yes, that's, all right, so all actually. stupid peanut allergy. All right, after double checking here, because I, I had one that was kind of in the back of my head that this is, this is my, this is the answer right here for me. Gremlins. Okay. Because Gremlins is PG. And sure. I think it could be even better at an R rating because, you know, some of the stuff that was like scary in it wasn't really scary. So I think they could dial it up just a skosh and make you like shit your pants a little bit. Oh, well, they could definitely. Yeah. Yeah, they could kick it up a yeah. few notches. And, and obviously just some more gratuitous nudity because why not? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got to make sure that you, you know, get get that hard R. <laughs> hard R. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. The one gremlin orgy scene. <laughs> yeah. The most yeah. disturbing scene will be in uh, one of them, like the one with the flasher. That'll be the most <laughs> disturbing scene. Because it'll just be this giant, yes. <laughs> giant gremlin dick w- winging around. <laughs> just... Just yeah, just gremlin dong slapping the counter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh shit. So yeah, there's there's my answer. That definitely would be my answer because I I love that movie, but there was a lot of cheesiness to it that I don't know if it made the movie better or not. You know, it may have, but on the other hand, it's like, eh, you know. Right. Yeah. It's okay. There you All go. All right. Boom. Well, man. Boom, bang, bang. I think that's a show, my friend. All right, I believe so. So, uh, so what we're asking you all is next week, take a PG G movie, rework that mother into a hard R. And I would appreciate if you put in some details like we've been throwing in, too. That'd be terrific. So what we're asking, though, is... Show me what you got. Yeah, do it. Do it. And all that. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right, well, uh, with that, I guess, you know, as normal, hey, head over to saltylanguage.com and take a look at all the links. You can check out the enthusiast episodes we've done. You can get all the past episodes, such as number 262, and, uh, you know, listen to us talk about our amazing reboot of American Tale. Mm-hmm. I, 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 uh, I included that in the email links I sent you. Nice. So we can put that in our show notes. Nice. I got to re- actually re- return the text to uh, Steven Spielberg about it, so... You know, that's true. He's on board, but we gotta. Well, I can't say any more. You know. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> confidentiality and all that. Right. Um, all our social media links are over there. You can see the networks that we're part of, such as the Tangent Bound Network. Um. Wow, I just blanked. Oh, and. Danger! Watch your back! Danger! Entertainment. So nice. Go check those uh, networks out, and maybe you'll find some shows that tickle your ears fancy. Check them mugs out, son. Yeah, do it. Uh, if you want to, if you want to suggest a cue of the W to us, um, or you know, suggest something for us to talk about on the show or whatever, just contact us. Again, you can hit us up at saltylanguage at gmail dot com. Uh, on Twitter at salty underscore language. 
You can find me at Stunami. Uh, you can find me at Monotony. You can also uh, find me there on the old Snapchat. Salty underscore language there. I'm Ninjits too. And, of course, we're on Instagram and Facebook and pretty much every social media you can possibly imagine. Except Pinterest. Uh, correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And again, I mean, I'm there, but I'm just strictly there for casseroles. Yeah, sure. Sure, Tony. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, and ag- casseroles and soccer moms. Oh, okay. That's better. That's your other podcast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, that should be a podcast. You know, right? casseroles and yeah. soccer moms. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. But it won't be what people think it is. You know, it won't be like two soccer no. moms talking about casseroles at all. It'll be two creepy guys It'll talking be... about casseroles and the, the moms that they saw at their kid's game over the weekend. <laughs> no, dude. It's two guys talking about the moms they saw eating casserole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty creepy. Good call. <laughs> and again, if you want in on the uh, Dude Mountain uh, Pick'em League, you know, just hit us up and uh, I need your email address so I can send you an invite. So, Yeah. Um, oh, if you're going to be shopping on Amazon, please swing by our website first and click the Amazon banner. It'll take you over to Amazon. You shop away as normal. It doesn't cost you anything extra. And, boom, boom, boom. And if you would like to help the show, we would greatly appreciate it if, you, if you're if you using Apple Podcasts uh, to rate, review, and subscribe. Um, you know, go, leave, go leave us them five-star ball washes. <laughs> Damn straight. Yeah. We, uh, we love getting that ball scrubbed up. <laughs> uh, if you're using uh, other podcast apps, if they have you know those options, please use those. Or if they have a like or share option, please use those. Uh, and or recommend us to your friends, or you know just share our Twitter and Facebook posts with with everyone. Everyone. No. <laughs> everyone. Yep. And again, we appreciate those who, who have already done that for us. You know, indeed. Keep up the good work, foot soldiers. Nice. <laughs> we 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 don't want to start calling the salty language army. Too many people do that. No, I don't. I, I just said foot soldiers. I was meaning like the ones from uh, Ninja Turtles. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> they have to wear the exact uniform from the cartoon. I like it. Yeah. The baggy purple heads and <laughs> yeah. baggy purple pants. Right. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Exactly. Can we call them like salt troopers? Kind of like shock troopers? Yeah, sure. Why not? Salt troopers. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds weird. All right. But I like it. We'll go with it. <clears throat> so, all right. Well, until next time, have beer. You'll be fine. Uh, stay, stay oh so salty. And remember, that's an ass needle. <laughs>